so this is third video on second PUC board examination mathematics so before watching this third video you should watch first uh, two videos and also if you are not subscribed to my channel uh, please subscribe to that to get uh, more updates so now I will discuss few problems of differentiation so differentiation problems are very easy so hardly we have seven to eight important questions for that five marks part so we can easily solve one of those problems will be y is equals to sine inverse of x then show that one minus x square into d square y upon dx square minus x into dy by dx is equals to zero so d square y upon dx square is nothing but y2 and dy by dx is nothing but y1 so here i have considered that uh, proof okay so y is equals to sine inverse x if you differentiate it then you will get dy by dx is equals to square root of 1 minus x square in place of that y1 i will consider in place of dy by dx i will consider y1 because uh, that will be more convenient to write it as y1 so in second order derivative while finding that second order derivatives always try to avoid that denominator terms here you have square root of 1 minus x square in the denominator why i say to avoid this denominator means uh, when you have denominator it will be u by v form u by v form will be a bit difficult rather than u into v form therefore you just transfer that term into right hand side so what happens by transforming that uh, term y1 into square root of 1 minus x square is equals to 1 then the problem will be very easy not only for these problems you have many problems just like uh, 3 cos log x 4 sin log x problem or tan inverse of x whole square problem anything if you have denominator immediately transfer that denominator into uh, right hand side to get it as uv form while finding second order derivative so now you have this particular term y into square root of 1 minus x square is equals to 1 first function second function concept first function is y1 second function is square root of 1 minus x square therefore first function into derivative of square root of 1 minus x square will be 1 by 2 into square root of 1 minus x square into minus 2x because it's a composite term derivative of 1 minus x square will be minus 2x plus square root of 1 minus x square into derivative of y1 is y2 because d by dx of dy by dx is d square y upon dx square is equals to derivative of 1 is 0 so you should not forget to write this derivative of 1 is equals to 0 now so you cancel this 2 and 2 and take square root of 1 minus x square lcm so if you take square root of 1 minus x square lcm this term is also multiplied by square root of 1 minus x square then it will be uh, minus x into y1 plus 1 minus x square into y2 whole divided by square root of 1 minus x square so you just shift that term into right hand side because you have 0 here 0 is multiplied by square root of 1 minus x square you will get 0 itself therefore x minus x into y1 plus 1 minus x square into y2 is equals to 0 this is what our required result 1 minus x square into y2 is same as d square y upon dx square minus x into dy by dx is equals to 0 in the same manner we can solve this particular problem also y is equals to 3 log uh, 3 cos log x problem so uh, briefly i will solve that problem i will skip few steps to write the answers y1 is equals to so 3 derivative of cos x will be minus sin x therefore it will be minus sin log x divided by it's a composite term therefore derivative of log x is 1 by x plus 4 sin log x derivative will be cos log x divided by x those who can't understand why the derivative of this 3 cos log x is equals to minus 3 sin log x divided by x you simply buy at this particular step because you can get the marks next since i said whenever you have denominator term just shift into left hand side here also you consider x into y1 is equals to minus 3 sin log x plus 4 cos log x then you have first function second function concept again first function is x into derivative of y1 is y2 plus second function is y1 into derivative of x is 1 is equals to minus 3 is a constant derivative of sin log x is cos log x divided by x plus in fact it will be minus because it will be minus for cos log x derivative will be some minus sine log x divided by x again shift this x into left hand side then you get x square into y2 plus 
x into y1 this numerator will be minus I will take minus outside 3 cos log x plus 4 sin log x therefore this is nothing but minus of y so you just shift this y then you will get x square y2 x square into y2 plus x into y1 plus y is equals to 0 this is what the required result so next problems I don't going to solve these problems but I will explain how to solve these problems so this a into e raised to mx plus b into e raised to nx problem y dash will be a into e raised to mx into m plus b into e raised to nx into n d square y upon dx square will be a into e raised to mx into m square plus b into e raised to nx into n square then you simply substitute values here d square y upon dx square minus m plus n into dy by dx plus m and y is equals to 0 and for this problem y is equals to cos inverse of x you just write x is equals to cos y then you can easily perform this so differentiate both sides with respect to uh, x then it will be 1 is equals to minus sin y into dy by dx you need to indicate it by dy by dx because it's a y term and you are differentiating with respect to x therefore dy by dx is equals to minus, uh, minus 1 by sin y means minus of uh, cosec y therefore d square y upon dx square will be equals to so cosec y derivative so derivative of cosec y will be minus so already you have minus sign means minus of minus plus cosec y into cot y into dy by dx y dy by dx means again we are differentiating with respect to x but the term is y therefore but dy by dx must be in terms of y alone in the particular question therefore d square y upon dx square is equals to cosec y into cot y into what is dy by dx minus cosec y means it will be minus of cosec square y into cot y a very easy problem so again these two problems are also very simple problems so e raised to y into x plus 1 is equals to show that d square y upon dx square for this problem you consider e raised to y is equals to 1 upon x plus 1 now differentiate it then it will be e raised to y into dy by dx is equals to minus of 1 divided by x plus 1 whole square therefore dy by dx is equals to minus 1 divided by x plus 1 whole square to e raised to y what is e raised to y here you will get e raised to y in place of e raised to y you can substitute 1 divided by x plus 1 so that this x plus 1 this get cancels minus 1 divided by x plus 1 you will remain with this therefore d square y upon dx square is equals to d square y upon dx square is equals to what so it will be minus of minus plus 1 divided by x plus 1 the whole square therefore d square y upon dx square is dy by dx the whole square you can easily prove this again y is equals to tan inverse of x problem so y is equals to tan inverse of x the whole square then y 1 is equals to it's a composite function 2 tan inverse x divided by derivative of tan inverse x is 1 divided by 1 plus x square as I always say this denominator should be shifted into numerator so 1 plus x square into y1 is equals to 2 tan inverse of x then it will be 1 plus x square first function into derivative of y1 is y2 plus y1 is second function into derivative of this is 2x is equals to derivative of 2 tan inverse x is 2 divided by 1 plus x square so just you shift this 1 plus x square here then it will be 1 plus x square or x square plus 1 whole square into y2 plus 2 into x into x square plus 1 is equals to 2 this is what the required result so now we shall go for few problems on 
uh, application of derivatives. So in this application of derivatives, you have few very important questions. So out of that questions, a ladder problem is important. Ladder problem easily you can do by just taking a triangle like this and uh, uh, 5 meter long means this is x and this is a y then x square plus y square is equals to 25 you simply differentiate it as 2x into dx by dt plus 2y into dy by dt is equals to 0 differentiating both sides with respect to t then you can cancel this 2 and 2 so here x is given and dx by dt is given therefore x is 2 when x uh, ladder when foot of the ladder is 4 meter away and dx by dt is how much dx by dt is 2 plus y so y is as we know this y is uh, if x square plus y square is equals to 25 and if x is equals to 4 y must be 3 because x square is 16 plus y square is equals to 25 therefore y must be equals to y square is uh, 9 means y is equals to 3. So, just you substitute this 3 here into dy by dt is equals to 0. Therefore, dy by dt is equals to minus 8 divided by 3. And for this one, I do not solve the second one. I will give the hint. So, even if you cannot get these solutions, uh, then feel free to ask because in this particular time, I cannot cover all that problems. So, here you take this equation as equation 1 differentiate both sides with respect to t then it will be 6 into dy by dt is equals to 3x square into dx by dt so what is the given thing here find the points on the curve which y coordinate is changing 8 times as fast as the x coordinate therefore in place of that uh, dy by dt so what is the relationship between dy by dt and dx by dt so, dy, y coordinate is changing 8 times as fast as x coordinate. Therefore, you can multiply this by 8. Therefore, you can substitute dy by dt is equals to 8 times dx by dt because dy by dx is faster. So, 8 times dx by dt. You just simplify 8 into 460. Uh, 8 into 6, 48 into that is equals to this. So, you will get the x and y coordinates. For remaining all problems, I will give you the hints. So, you have one sand is pouring from a pipe at the rate of this. For all these problems, what you need to remember is simply v is equals to 1 by 3 pi r square h and there will be a relationship between r and h will be given so here what is that relationship means uh, height of the cone is always one sixth of the radius of the base so you can substitute uh, that r is equals to 1 by 6 into h therefore r square is equals to what h square divided by 36 therefore 6h r will be 6h this is a R. One second. Uh, the height of the cone is always uh, height is uh, always uh, one sixth of the radius. So R is equals to six h. H is equals to R by six. R is equals to six h. Therefore R square is thirty six h square. Therefore here one by three into pi into thirty six h square into this h will be thirty six h cube is equals to 12 pi h cube this is v then simply by finding dv by dt with respect to t 12 pi is a constant into 3 h square into dh by dt here all things are given this dv by dt is 12 is equals to 12 pi into 3 into the height when height is 4 means you can substitute it as 16 into dh by dt therefore 12 12 get cancels therefore dh by dt will be 1 by 48 pi centimeter per second centimeter per second you need to write the unit also dh by dt very easy problem so similarly you have one problem what water tank problem i will go through that problem
so here you have one water tank problem okay so for this water tank problem you need to write the diagram just like this and uh, this is theta and uh, this is r and this is h and this is land heights so here what you need to do is uh, tan inverse of uh, alpha or theta tan inverse of theta is equals to 1 by 2 you can consider because in the given question tan inverse of or tan inverse of tan inverse of 0.5 is 1 by 2 or this is alpha if you consider this angle as alpha then it will be alpha therefore you can consider alpha is equals to 1 by 2 so here tan alpha what is tan alpha in this diagram tan alpha will be adjacent side uh, tan alpha will be opposite by uh, adjacent side so opposite is r divided by adjacent side will be h r by h is equals to 1 by 2 therefore you can write h is equals to R h is equals to 2 R. So, then you can carry out the problem as like I have considered V is equals to 1 by 3 pi R square h. So, I have considered that problem is V is equals to 1 by 3 uh, pi R square h. You need to continue like uh, that particular itself.